In this video, I'm gonna be talking about keyboard shortcuts in Ecamm Live so that you can understand how important it is to have at least a basic grasp of them uh, if you are using Ecamm, and even if you are using a Stream Deck or a Loop Deck, they're still very important as you will find out. Uh, but also through looking at the keyboard shortcuts, you may even find out some new features of Ecamm Live that you weren't aware of. So one of the questions that I get asked a lot is how do I go about learning these pieces of software that I have tutorials on and things like that on my channel. What's my process for actually learning these? Um, well, it's the old school way. <laughs> Try all of the buttons. <laughs> that is it. There is no real secret to it. And it's a case of going through all of the menus to have a look at all the different features and things like that. It's something that I've done since a kid, really. Anytime I got anything new, I would always take it to pieces to find out how it worked. And occasionally, I would be able to put those things back together again. Fortunately, Ecamm Live is unbreakable in that respect. So uh, it doesn't do any harm to go through and just have a look at everything. But this is a great way to discover the keyboard shortcuts. Now, don't worry, you don't have to do it this way. I've got a great little cheat sheet, which I'll be telling you about a little bit later. Um, but let's just come into uh, demo mode and I'll show you. Here we are in uh, live demo mode and I've got my Ecamm Live menus along the top. So first thing, whenever I open a new piece of software, uh, let's have a look at all these different menus <laughs> and go down all the menus. Just have a look at what each of these things is and what each of these things does and try to uh, try them out if possible as well. But crucially over here, you can see we've got the keyboard shortcuts. Now it's a bit of a task to go through and just memorize all of these. So I certainly don't do that because uh, you could not possibly hope <laughs> unless you are some special kind of person to be able to just go through and uh, memorize all of the key sheet keyboard shortcuts shortcuts immediately. What you can do though is you can look at the things that you do regularly, the buttons that you click on, the menus that you go to, uh, and as you go to the menus just rather try and find the keyboard shortcuts. So if I'm going to go to say a uh, new scene for example, new empty scene, rather than come to the menu and click on it, I will come to the menu, but then I'll note the keyboard shortcut and press Command B for new scene. And you soon get into the process of uh, where the next time you might have to go to look at the menu again, but then the third, the fourth, the fifth time, uh, maybe you just remember the keyboard shortcut. So it's a case of building the sort of muscle memory up, if you like, to get to know the keyboard shortcuts. Eventually, if you use keyboard shortcuts a lot, you get to the point where you don't actually remember what it is offhand. You just know like where your hands are going to actually trigger it. So <laughs> that is a bit of a funny thing when someone asks you what the keyboard shortcut is and you have to actually look down at where you're putting your fingers because it's just become uh, memory. But in any case, I digress. Uh, there is still another reason though to have at least these shortcuts to hand, even if you don't memorize them. And that is, as I say, in the case of the worst possible event in our whole lives, uh, stream deck failure. <laughs> uh, it does feel a little bit, if you've come become totally reliant on something like stream deck, and that is the only way that you know how to operate a piece of software, especially if you are live streaming with Ecamm Live or you're using it into Zoom to do your Zoom uh, presentations and things like that. Uh, and then if something happened and the Stream Deck failed, you'd be kind of like, you know, having relied on autopilot of a, an aircraft and not actually know how to fly it. So uh, that is a great reason to actually just at least have these keyboard shortcuts to hand. Uh, and so that's basically why I've created this, which is the Ecamm Live shortcuts uh, list, shortcuts cheat sheet if you will. But what I've done that's a little bit different here is rather than just listing all of the menus uh, and then listing all of the items that are in them <laughs> in that order and adding in all of the keyboard shortcuts, I've tried to group them into something that seems a little bit more uh, or makes at least a little bit more a little bit more sense to me. So hopefully it will do to you as well. Uh, an example of that would be there is a menu command in the edit menu, which is um, uh, stop most recent sound effects or stop all sound effects. Well, you might not necessarily think to look in the edit menu for something related to sound. So I've tried to just sort of group these. And so there are some general things, you know, like undo, copy, paste, all that sort of stuff. Uh, paste as overlay and things like that. Um, but what I have done then is I've split things out into, so we've got a section for scenes, uh, we've got a section for audio and camera. So that's one for stop most recent sound effect is of course in the audio section where you'd expect to find it. Uh, we've got some related to output. So things like the virtual camera, virtual mic, uh, what the keyboard shortcuts are to toggle those on and off, that sort of thing got some related to live streaming and recording. So uh, there again are some where you might not necessarily know where to look for them. So 
For example, if I am in record mode and I go up to the Ecamm Live menu, then I've got some options there to begin recording, end recording. Uh, so that is actually in the Ecamm menu itself. Um, when I'm live streaming, so if you go to stream to Facebook, for example, uh, there is actually a shortcut to copy the Facebook URL, which means that if you are streaming to Facebook and you just want to quickly grab the URL of the of the stream to, you know, I don't know, post it to Twitter or something like that. You've actually got a keyboard shortcut to do that. Uh, Command Shift uh, C to copy that shortcut. So I've grouped those ones there as well related to uh, live streaming. You've got some here related to uh, the different windows. So all of those different uh, utility windows and things like that that you get on Ecamm Live for your uh, your overlays and things like that. I know that you can obviously press the button to toggle some of these on, but some of them you can't. So for example, the um, uh, bandwidth statistics is not uh, one that you can uh, toggle on and off. Uh, and then there's other different things like the program window and stuff like that, that you would have to actually go to the menu to do. So I've just added those all in here as well. Uh, and then there's some other things. So for example, uh, like showing and hiding the uh, the controls that are on screen on uh, on Ecamm Live. Some people don't realize that, that they, all the, the different controls like the, uh, the record button, all the little icons down the side, and there's a kind of like a, a, a dark fade coming in from the bottom in your actual sort of uh, main window of of Ecamm. Uh, well, if you are doing things like moving things around on the uh, within your scene or laying things out or whatever, uh, then you can actually just hide all of those controls, either momentarily or completely. Uh, so we've got the keyboard shortcut for that in there as well. So there's lots of uh, really useful things in here. Uh, and by going through this uh, list, uh, it'll actually perhaps highlight a couple of controls that you weren't aware about. Now, the link for this is in the description. So uh, definitely head down and get that. It's just a free download. So it's a PDF. You can go and grab it from the, uh, the website site uh, and then you'll have it as a, a download either print it out or keep it handy somewhere uh, on your computer where you know where it is so that in the event that something does happen with your stream deck uh, you will always know what to do to uh, uh, actually still regain some level of control without having to click around everywhere on the mouse Incidentally, this whole uh, download was something that I created for my Ecamm Live Masterclass. So if you are an Ecamm Live user, then definitely uh, check that out as well. That's at ecamlivemasterclass.com. Uh, this is basically lifetime access to this encyclopedic resource, should we say, because it will be continuously updated with all of the latest updates of Ecamm Live. One of the things and the issues really with uh, going to the University of YouTube is you're never really quite sure if the information you're watching is up to date. Uh, certainly there's lots of my, you know, 80 plus videos on my channel related to Ecamm Live um, that are now somewhat out of date, maybe not completely, maybe there's parts of them that are correct, but maybe some of the ways that I teach to do things have changed with later versions of Ecamm Live. And so that's the reason for the masterclass. It's all in one place, all the latest version, and you get lifetime access. So you'll always know that you have the latest information. It's not just Ecamm Live though. I do cover Stream Deck, Loop Deck, how to use those with uh, Ecamm Live. I also talk about how to take it into things like Zoom, Microsoft Teams, uh, and even Discord as well. Then there is using Ecamm Live as a presentation tool. So I talk about how to use it with things like Keynote and PowerPoint as well. So that is the Ecamm Live Masterclass. If you are watching this, you're probably interested in Ecamm Live. So I highly recommend you uh, go and have a look at that uh, and see if it looks like a good fit for you. So that is the checklist, but uh, there are plenty of other new uh, things in Ecamm Live uh, just as of the last version. So I'll leave a link to the playlist all about those on the right hand side and I'll see you in the next video.